Hi, I'm Grayson with Lost Highway Kennels. And I'm Emily with Short Hairs and Shotguns, and this is our companion gun dog training channel. So this is a tool we use here at the kennels um, to, uh, to replicate a gunshot. Um, we use it for our young dogs and we use it for our finished dogs. It's a, it's a whip uh, that was designed for the purpose of Schutzen sport or uh, agitating police dogs, but uh, I find it really useful um, for our gun dogs as well, for our bird dogs. So one of the advantages is I can uh, replicate the sound of a shot without wasting a bunch of money on primers or 22 blanks. It's not going to be quite as loud as either one of those. It, it, at its loudest, it's going to be a little lower than a low pressure 22, um, but it's still very useful. Uh, when I'm using it for my puppies, I can kind of lower uh, the decibel level and, uh, and introduce those puppies to that kind of uh, that type of stimulation while they're chasing their little quick wing bird around. And when they get in full chase, we can increase that decibel level. And that may be what I'm using around my finish dogs the entire time. So it's a great tool for putting the shot out of order, a great tool for creating some motion around the bird or even flushing those birds. Um, I, I really find, uh, find this very utilitarian um, for, for the purposes of training my gun dogs. If, uh, if you purchase one of these, there's a learning curve. So when we crack this, that kind of, I say the, the main principle is to pretend as if you're throwing the popper at the ground. You wanna let your wrist be a little bit flexible, um, limp wristed if you will, uh, and just imagine you're throwing it at the ground and you'll get your best crack. Just takes practice. Go home, give it a few thousand reps, and uh, and I think it'll be a great tool for you. And can you compare it to a primer? I can. So this is a 209 primer. Pretty loud. This is as loud as I can get this whip to crack this morning. So you get the idea.